Mama. Hello there, sir. Hello. So this is case number 2024 TR12087. Can you state your name? I'm John Jonathan Niedermeyer. Okay, Mr. Niedermeyer. So the allegation that is made against you is a failure to stop at an accident scene. That is a class two misdemeanor that has a maximum fine of $750, four months in jail and or two years probation. As of now, there's no jail time being sought for the case. Uh, your options are to plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest. And you also have the right to have an attorney. So if you wish not to have an attorney, then you are given an attorney waiver form. I need you to check the box that you do not want an attorney. But if you do want an attorney, you need to advise the court that you plan on getting an attorney. you understand that? No, I did. Um, judge, I... Um I'm aging. I've been in and out of the hospital for the last 13 months about a lot and fighting a bad infection due to the fact that those, well, that's another long story. And they did. Um, where am I here? I got memory problems. I'm 83 and a half. Okay, so what I think, I think. What well, what did you just say? I, I, well, what I was trying to say is. I can't keep up with fast talk, okay. and and because my health, my age, whatever. All right. And so you will have to slow down a little bit. I have to tell people that when they slow down, then and I'm fine. Okay. I can so keep up with it. I understand, and I do talk fast, so <laughs> I acknowledge that. All right, sir. So you're you're charged with. I know what you said about the charge, but that last statement. Uh, an attorney. Okay. So the case does not qualify for the court to give you an attorney, okay? There's no jail time, okay? So you have the choice to go hire your attorney or proceed without one. Oh, so I have to tell you what my decision is right now? Yes, sir. Oh, God, I don't You can know. always change your mind. Like, let's say, for example, okay, yeah. you, you don't want an attorney right now, but five minutes from now or... Tomorrow or the next day, you say, I do want an attorney. Yeah. You notify us, I do want an attorney, you call us, and then you go get your attorney. Yeah. Okay? So you can do that. Okay. If you well, decide. Here's, here's the problem. I have had, I used to live here in Star Valley. I had a, uh, I love my home. I could have been happy there. It's, everything's a, a, a story with me. I don't know why. And people don't have time to listen to my explanation and I'm just given an honest evaluation of the problem. So if you want to do that in this case, I'll enter a not guilty plea for you so you can give your explanation to the prosecutor to take it into consideration. Right now I can't take the explanation of this. Okay? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't hear that explanation. The prosecutor can. So why don't we do that? So it gives you a chance to talk to him. To who? To the prosecutor? Correct. Yeah, I do. yeah, that's something I should tell you because I think you're just trying to help, and uh, I but, appreciate that. Yeah, but because I, I know that I've been here f five years coming here this summer. My home is by, of choice is in Mesa, Arizona. Okay. And I'm well known there. I know the police, everything, and I have good friends there. And uh, but it's too hot. I've been homeless that long. And it's too hot to sleep in your car in the summertime. It's over 100 or more at midnight. And uh, I can't run the gas all the time so I can run the air conditioner all night long. Understood. And everything. And so um, it's the way it works out with me. I have to explain things all the time. I don't know why, but that seems to be the well, way. It's okay to tell stories. But on this case... If you have yeah, a, and, and and I was gonna say, I have an attorney. I went to talk to him, and his secretary said he's not taking any talking to any clients now. He's on a big case, and he's spending all his time on this big case. And that's that. That was that's eternity. What's his name? Uh, oh, I can't even remember. Yeah. I got memory problems. I got a lot of problems, and I think that's understandable. 
I've been in and out of hospitals. I just kept going in circles. I'm out for a little while, and I get, I'm sick. I got to go back to hospital for the what, last what, 13 minutes. What I'm going to do, sir, is I'm going to appoint a court of But I want my oh, hold plea. On, hold, hold on yes, a second. Sir. What I'm going to do is enter a not guilty plea for you. Oh, that's that's what I would give you. I say, okay. I, I'm saying I'm not guilty. Okay, and then I'm also going to assign you a court-appointed attorney because of your memory issues. So we're going to assign you one free or little charge. Oh, okay. Goodness. So we'll have an attorney represent you to walk you through these steps. Well, how much is a little charge? I I need to state this to you because I think you will try to be fair with me. Uh, and I don't believe that a lot of people... I know that the police have given me a hard time because they don't want me to come back. And a pastor I know, he said that's true. The, the people of this town do not like the homeless people coming up here in the summer. They work hard for their money. Why should they come up here and, and take our money from us, the homeless people? And that's what the pastor told me, and he didn't like it either. Okay. Well, and, but what I would want to qualify myself is I'm not like all other homeless people. I'm a Bible teacher, and uh, I have been for some time, and I have never in my life, God did miracles in my life when I was four years old, I have never in my life asked anybody for money. Okay. And I'm not that type of homeless person. So the, uh, so the fee that you asked about is 25 bucks for an attorney. So you have to come up with $25 to have a, an attorney. I don't know if I need an attorney or not. I don't know. I'm going to assign you one. But for, for, for twenty five, that I'm short on is money. You they, don't need. You don't need to pay me now. We're going to assign you this attorney, no. and then your attorney. Hold on, your attorney can ask for a waiver of that fee if once you guys start talking. Okay, so that might be able to happen if if he asks for that. Well, I'm just terribly uh, uh, guarded of my money because the okay the devil what well, the devil fights the hell out of me because of my ministry. I scare him. Okay, so we'll we'll address that later. The and, twenty-five bucks. And what I want to tell you, what I need to tell you, is since you're trying to help my case, what you can is, I've been had a lot of health problems in my time. Yeah, that. But and, I, I and, 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 and let me finish. It no, won't take no sir, I can't. So the, the, I can't have those details now. I don't mean to be rude. But, but I only get six hundred and thirteen dollars a month Social Security. Sir, sir, what you need to do is tell your. I can't afford to. You're, you're talking right over me. What you need to do is not tell me and force that at me because you're going to ruin the case. You, you need will force to, you what know, at you, sir? The, the circumstances and your medical issues. What you need to do is tell your attorney that the one that I just gave you. Tell your attorney those things, and that way he can present that information to the court. When it's time, not right now, and now's not the time for that. They stopped me last night and said, "I give me a ticket for uh, not a complete stop at the at a stop sign." I always put my brake on. I look where when it's clear, and then I go. And I, sometimes I don't come to. I'm going to be going one tenth of a mile an hour, and and I didn't have a complete stop, and they gave me a ticket for that. Okay, last well, night. Well, then you. And they said I was guilty of. Um, of two hit and run cases, I said that's not real. I never heard anybody say okay. I was guilty of two of them. So I have to hit. I can't hear other cases. You're trying to give me information on other cases. I have to talk to you about this case, sir. Okay. I don't know what you mean by that, but well, I'm here to talk to you about giving you information on other cases. I don't know. Yeah, you said you just got stopped last night, right? Yeah. I have no idea about that case. That's not even at the at the court. What I'm talking to you about is the offense you occurred on August 27th. Not all of that other stuff that you're trying to tell me about. Okay? If you think you were wrongly treated by the police department, contact right. super. Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold, hold on. Contact the supervisors at those law enforcement agencies if you feel you're being picked on. Okay? Let those supervisors know what you're going through. The court. Because I did not know that was against on. the law. Court only can handle the cases that are brought in front of the court. Right now, I'm talking about August 27th. Okay, that's all I'm talking about. Those other ones, sir, we have to handle those one at a time. Okay, if you feel you're being mistreated by the law enforcement agencies, contact the law enforcement agencies and talk to the supervisor. I did know. All I can say is I've never been stopped about that. I did not know that that law existed. Okay, and how was I to know? Right. That's a problem I've always had in America. When I had a problem, a legal problem, I didn't have anybody to go to unless I could pay a lawyer. 
to tell me what the law is. Right. I've had that problem all my life, and I was born and raised in America. Yeah. Well, it's it's a lot of laws to try to follow. So there are a lot of laws. Yeah, so, I know. All right, sir, is the Hobson address still good? Yes, sir. That's uh, some of my best friends. They, they know about my homelessness. Do, do you have a phone number? Uh, yes, I just got it. They stole my phone number before, but I got a new phone about a week and a half ago. What is that number? I don't remember. They wrote it down. They give it to me in a box, and they wrote down uh, John's new phone number. Do you use the phone? Yes. Okay, is the phone with you? It's in my uh, motorhome out in the parking lot. Okay, when we're done here, could you come back in when you know what the phone number is and give it to my clerk at the front counter? Yes. That well, I think I can walk that far. I can only walk so far a day, and I have to sit down before I fall down. Uh, they threw away my shoes at a hospital. Well, you, you can walk out, sit in your motorhome for a few minutes, and, and, then, rest, and, and, then, and then come, come back, back in. in. Yeah. Just so we have a way to contact you. Okay, because right now the Hobson address is not really a good address. We don't have a phone number. We don't have an email. Do you have an email? No. Okay. So with that phone number becomes important now because this address isn't yeah. very good. All right. So did let me see here. This is the attorney waiver form. We can just throw that away because we're going to assign you an attorney. And sir, here's the. And it's going to cost me twenty five dollars. We'll see because the attorney can ask to waive that. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So this is your attorney, attorney Tyler Allen, and that's his phone number. Here's your next court date, 11-5 of 2024, okay? Somewhere about five days ahead of time, get that new phone that you got and call your attorney and let him know what's going on. Here's his card, okay? So okay. call your attorney about somewhere in the beginning of November. Don't wait until that date, and then he'll give you some instructions, okay? All right, now, slow down a little bit. I can't quite keep up with you. Your court date, make sure you show up on this date unless your attorney, which name and phone number... And you have his card, unless he tells you otherwise. So you're going to show up on this date, 11-5 of 2024. 11-5, that's November. <laughs> yep. October, that's next month. That's in about 30 days, correct. Is it, uh, can I, well, you finish and then can I say something? You, you said a lot, but I'll, I'll hear you for a little longer, but uh, you're not the only person but here. I, I, I know, uh, well, I can't help it. I'm just so telling you, you the truth. The truth is, is, it's already getting too cold for me to sleep here. I need to go back home to Mesa. Okay. I go back. To, I don't got no problems. I ha I know the police. They know me. Everything. And, and well, you, I got lots of friends. And You can do that. Just make sure you show up to court on that date. And I know that drive is but coming. The, 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 staying here. To, normally, I've been here homeless the last five years about. And... Uh, I, I know that uh, when I, it usually gets too cold here for me and I can't sleep in my car because it's too cold, in my motorhome because it's too cold, is about the end of September and the first part of October. And I, and I had something scheduled that day, and when that cold blew in on that, that day, I said, I can't stay here, I'm going to be sick in the hospital again. And so I hit 87 and got the heck out of here before I got sick and back in the hospital. Okay. Well, you can still do that, too, but we just need you on this court date unless your attorney says otherwise. Shit, how soon can I go go back to Mesa where the temperatures... You can go whenever you want. I'm not restricting you to go anywhere. Do I have to appear in court about this? Yes. Well, I have to drive back up here for... Correct. Unless your attorney says otherwise. So that's why you need to call him. Okay, but I... As long as I can drive back up here and as long as I'm well enough right I don't know what my health's gonna change to I can come I can leave now and come back correct when the, my court case is up correct no. yep and then call your attorney before then to see maybe he doesn't need you to come back maybe he's got some other uh, see, idea I have to write that down I forget it let's see call quote call my Attorney before what date? Right there. Before uh, yep. this date. I got so many problems I just get discouraged. And then what else? Call this 
Attorney, you call my attorney before this date. Yeah, and then once he talks to you, he'll give you instructions on what to do. Okay? So you call my attorney before this date, and, and he, he will give me instructions on what to do. Yep. I hope I don't lose this paper in my... Don't do that. Messy motorhome. I'm just trying to get organized. Put that in the important file. I don't even have a place to file everything. All right. My so house is a mess, but I don't have time. I'm going in so many different directions. I can't keep up with everything. All right. Good luck, sir. Thank you, uh, Judge.